Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I did this full face of like my quick go-to get out the door makeup, but I tried to use products that you don't normally see on my channel, so stick along for the ride. I'm really excited for this video because I love how it turned out. It's very easy makeup, but it's just what I go to every single day because um, I never wake up with enough time to get ready. I used to do like full-blown eyeshadow every single day and I just don't give myself that time anymore. <laughs> if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Kendra. I post three beauty slash lifestyle videos a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And you should definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of what I'm all about, you know? <laughs> And then that's when they click away. I'm just kidding. But yeah, let's just stop rambling. Oh, check out my social medias if you like. I'm quite active on Instagram, Twitter. Not so much Snapchat because it sucks now, but Instagram and Twitter. So hit me up there, but let's just get right on into the video. Okay, guys. So obviously I'm going to start off with priming. Just wanted to mention I did already have my eyebrows done because I was wearing makeup before this. And for the purpose of this video... I don't want it taking 15 million years because of my eyebrows. <laughs> Using the Wet n Wild Dewy Primer though, this is a great primer, great option um, for those of you who want a like glowy base but you don't want to spend $38 on the Becca Primer. Love the Becca Primer but it is expensive. Anyways, yeah, I do have my brows done but they probably will need to be touched up a little bit before I end this video because I'm just not very good at like avoiding them. Just for my nose, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I just have this tiny little sample that I got um, with some Sephora points. And I don't need a mattifying primer, but a smoothing primer would be nice for my nose. So this kind of is both. And you know what? Sometimes you just have to work with what you got. And obviously to give myself some extra hydration and to give a little tackiness to the skin, even though the Wet n Wild Primer is a little tacky, I'm gonna use my Smashbox Primer Water, which is something I always use and I couldn't stray away from it, okay? I gotta be honest, I just woke up from a nap. Well, it's been like 30 minutes, but I woke up from a nap frantically and was like, I don't have enough time to film a video. But the good news is, is that this is already the video I was planning on filming and it should be kind of a fast one. So I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Concealer. I know I'm trying to use products I don't typically use on camera, but uh, I had to use this, okay? So I'm just using this for my under eyes like I normally do, and um, because this is makeup in a rush, we don't got time to put on foundation. I couldn't even think of the word foundation. And I'm covering up blemishes with it, and then to cover up like redness on other parts of my skin, I'm gonna go in with my other concealer, which is in my hand as well, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this called? The Retoucher Conceal and Treat Stick. It's a little bit more yellow, so that's good for my skin tone and also the redness. Just a little bit. It's not like super yellow, it's just more yellow than the Wet n Wild Concealer. And then I'm taking my sponge and just blending it out. I know some people might use like a brush in these scenarios because it's a little bit faster. I just hate the way my foundation looks or concealer looks blended out with a brush. I just feel like a beauty blender or you know whatever sponge you prefer does 10 times better of like making it look like it's more natural in like your skin and I know you could go over with a brush first and then with a beauty blender and I say to that when we're in a rush do we have time to use two things probably not just make sure you know it's pretty well blended this is just what I've been doing most mornings I've been using lots of different products because I'm trying to like switch it up as much as possible but like this routine this is what I'm doing. To keep it easy peasy, easy peasy, is the last time you used that third grade because I think that's the last time I used it. You know what I just found out the other day? That Canadians say grade three or grade 11 or grade five. And we say 11th grade. Well, we, I, me, we being Americans say 11th grade, 12th grade, you know, 10th grade, 9th grade, that kind of stuff. And I just think that stuff is so interesting. Anyways, I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. It is so affordable, it is such a good powder. And I'm just using it for my, both my under eyes and also um, places of my skin, places of my skin, places of my face that I want to set because I don't have time to reach for another powder. Most mornings I will use a loose powder, but 
It's totally fine this today. I just am going to use this and my face has been extra dry lately And so I'm just taking it along where I'm going to put other powders and I'm not putting a bunch on because my skin has been parched Okay, so luckily our eyebrows are already done. I will say this makeup look, if it w if it weren't for my eyebrows, sorry, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes so that I can get them ready for mascara at the end. I like to do this actually most mornings. I'll curl my lashes like once or twice throughout the makeup process. Anyways, what was I gonna say? Oh, <laughs> eyebrows. If it weren't for the eyebrows, this makeup would take me 10 minutes, but it takes me like 20 minutes because of my eyebrows. And if my eyebrows were, okay, that's a lie. It probably wouldn't take me 10 minutes. It'd probably take me more like 15. I'm not a quick makeup person. I wish I was. I truly do, but I'm not. I keep forgetting where I was going with things because I'm just like that groggy. Oh, um, but it takes me like 20 minutes because my eyebrows take so effing long. And it's been so long since I've um, dyed them. So when I dye them, it doesn't take me as long because there's the hair is so dark and everything. Anyways, I'm going with the Body Shop. This is the bronzing powder shade in Deep Matte. It's not very deep. Don't know why it's called Deep Matte, but I love how gorgeous and how warm this bronzer is. So, um, <laughs> sorry. I keep getting sidetracked. So yeah, I wish this took me 10-15 minutes, but my eyebrows makes it take 20 minutes. If I was doing a bunch of eyeshadow, it would take 30 minutes, like my normal like, that's how long it typically takes me to get ready if I'm doing, like, everything, you know? So I'm just uh, starting off taking this Body Shop bronzer and really warming up the complexion. I love the shade of this bronzer because it's just so warm. Like, I can feel cat hairs all over my skin and it's the hardest time finding them, actually. I'm just going to use the viewfinder as my bronze, <laughs> as my mirror bronzer. Yeah, the viewfinder's a great bronzer. So now that I've used a good amount of that, I'm actually, well first I'm going to use that same bronzer to kind of contour the nose. And then I'm taking this ColourPop bronzer. This is in the shade Private Party. You guys know how much I love California Dreamin', but I use that a lot on my channel. So I just wanna add some like glow and this bronzer has a gorgeous sheen to it. So I'm just taking a light amount and just going over the bronzer we already placed down. I'm not like using anything heavy. It's not to contour. It's just to add a little bit of a glow so that my face doesn't look so flat, you know? I think we're looking good. I'm gonna use this big KKW mirror, even though it's kind of distorting, to make sure that everything is blended out. Okay, now it's time for blush. I'm going to take this ColourPop blush in the shade Shoot. This is either Main Chick or Rom-Com. Um, if I can figure it out, I'll list it down below. It's on the back of the pan, but not on the back of the compact, so I literally have to pop the blush out, and I don't have a safety pin near me, but anyways. I'm taking this gorgeous blush shade, but dang, is she pigmented. So, I do not want to go in too heavy, but I'm going to start swirling it around the apples of my cheeks. This blush is so pretty, oh my gosh but it is a pigment queen. Should I trademark that? Has anyone said that? Just kidding. Tune in next week to see how Kendra breaks her blush pan by smacking it too hard with her brush. Okay, so now that we've got some blush on, we're feeling good about it. it looks good. Makes us look younger and more alive, more awake, more fresh. Time for highlight. I'm going to use the KKW Highlighting Palette. I think I'm just gonna do what I normally do and mix these three shades, like the white goldish shade, the gold, and then the pink, just to kind of like give us a hybrid of shades and um, go in. On a day-to-day -day basis, I don't mind having a really intense highlighter, but what I do mind is that it looks like blended into the skin. I don't want a highlighter that is chunky or like doesn't look well on top of the skin. Obviously no one wants that, but I, do, I don't even want like a crazy metallic highlight. I want it to look good on top of the skin so that it looks blended in, it looks natural, it doesn't look like I'm wearing like a full face of like glam. You know what I mean. I don't know. I'm having trouble finding words today. And I'm going to do the same thing down my nose, but the last couple of weeks I've just been using my finger for my nose, con my nose contour. <laughs> 
my nose highlight because I feel like I can be a little bit more precise rather than getting the highlight everywhere like I do with a brush. And then to really make sure we've got everything blended in, I take my beauty sponge, whatever one I use. Today it just happens to be the Fenty Beauty one. Typically it's a beauty blender though. And I just tap through my highlight. And now I'm going to set my face, but I'm only gonna use the Smashbox Primer Water because I don't really have much going on and I just wanna be simple. And then I just take my beauty sponge and dab it all into my skin, make sure there's no like clumps of water. Is that even a good way to describe water? <laughs> Spl splotches, splashes, plops? That's not a good word. And then um, sometimes I add a little bit more highlight to see what it looks like. I'm just going to take the white shade, it's like a white gold, and just like, ooh, ooh, you know, just a little bit of that, like, ooh, ooh with those verbal noises as well. And then I am going to take, oh man, I meant to do this before I, sp I sprayed my face. I still think it'll work. I'm taking my ColourPop brow pencil. This is not the brow boss. This is the original brow pencil. And I'm just going over any freckles I already have because I like to accentuate my freckles rather than hide them. It's a part of me, they're never going away. Like. I know some people grow out of their freckles, but I'm already 25 and they're still here. And they're loud and proud. So I just like to kind of accentuate the freckles so that it looks like my makeup is a bit more natural, that I'm not really wearing much on my skin. You know, kind of like to trick the common eye. And I'm just assessing the damage of the eyebrows right now because I know that I had to do a lot of work around them, so they're probably not looking super great. So I'm uh, adding any brow wiz where I need to, creating some hopefully looking like hair-like strokes in the front, filling in any sparse areas. They still look pretty good. I feel like I don't really have to do much. And I probably will have to put a little bit more of boy brow through them just to keep them sticking in place. This is my literal everyday brow gel. I know I said I was gonna try to use things in this video that I don't normally use, but the problem is there's nothing else out there for me. So <laughs> we are going to stick with the brow gel. I mean, the, the boy brow, which is a brow gel. Obviously, Kendra, today's been a struggle. Naps, sometimes they make you struggle. Okay, so for the next part, I would say if I really have no time, obviously I'm not even touching my eyelid, eyelids, eyelids, and I just throw some mascara on, but today I am going to put a little bit of bronzer on my lids. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and I'm just going to blend it all over the lid. This is going to act as our primer, and this is the only concealer that I can wear that can work as primer because any other concealer does not work for me because my eyes crease. Does this is a gorgeous sight? Okay, I'm setting it with my, my Wet n Wild powder. Like I know a lot of people use Shape Tape as their lid primer. That creases on me. Now I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and my, that's another cat hair. I'm getting so distracted in this video. I can't even find a hair, but I feel it. Ugh. So I'm taking my bronzer that I used this is the Body Shop bronzer, and I'm just taking my big fluffy brush by ColourPop. This is like a, I forget the official term, but I think because I bought this before they started putting numbers on the brush, but I think this is just the tapered blending brush or something like that. This just creates like a, like a super natural shadow. So if you want something on your lid, like eyeshadow was so scary to me the beginning of my makeup journey and so i would just put bronzer in the crease and now look at where i am i'm wearing blue eyeshadow for fun you know what i mean how the turntables if you don't get that reference and you tell me in the comments down below you said how the tables have turned wrong then i'm pretty sure my sister would be very offended because she is a massive fan of the office. So yeah, I've just taken a bunch, blended it all over the lid, and I forgot to bring a smaller brush to use on my lower lash line, so I'm just gonna take this brush, squeeze it with my fingers, and blend it along my lower lash line. But before we do mascara, I'm taking my KKW palette, and I'm just going to take, I think I'm just gonna actually today take the pinky, like the peachy pink, 
and the white one and use that to highlight my inner corner as well as my brow bone. All right, inner corner done. Let's move on to the brow bone. Man, a little bit of brown bone highlight really just does the look some good. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes one more time. So I'm going to use the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara because you guys know the Glossier Lash Slick and the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes are like my every single day. Like I cannot go a day without that Glossier Lash Slick, but I'm trying to change things up a little bit today. So I'm gonna use the NYX Worth the Hype, which I also really like. It's a little bit more clumpy and a little bit more messy, but it does add length and volume and it keeps my lashes curled all day. So can't really ask for anything else, you know? Nothing keeps my lashes curled all day like that freaking Glossier Lash Lick. It is a masterpiece. I really like this though, cause it kind of like gives me a lot of volume, but you kind of have to be careful because it's messy. And if you have eyes shaped like mine, um, mascaras <laughs> with this kind of a brush are like they get all over your lid, you know? Like I have mascara all over my lid already and I'm gonna have to wait till it dries to clean it off. Okay, so everything is done besides the lips. So I'm going to let my mascara dry so I can clean it up, grab a lip products and I'll be right back. Okay, so a lot of times with the looks like these, I like to go with reds because I really love the look of like not a lot of makeup or eye makeup and then like a bold red lip, but I was going to use this Too Faced where my peach is at lipstick, but you guys have seen me use this in so many videos because I've loved it for almost a year now. So I am going to take my Fenty Beauty Freckle Fiesta because I feel like I've talked about this a lot on my channel and never actually used it except for I was wearing it in a vlog one time. This is such a gorgeous like orange red. So I'm just going to um, apply this without a lip liner so pray for me. So a lot of days I won't wear any lipstick because I just want to be like super chill and I'll wear maybe a gloss or even just like like lip balm, like my glossierbalm.com. But I do love wearing lipstick because to be quite honest, I'm slightly self-conscious because I'm a girl, I'm a human, you know, we can be self-conscious about the color of my lips, like naturally, because it's really pale. And I love, I love, I just love the way lipstick makes my face look because it just really pulls attention to my lips rather than making it look like my lips aren't there because there's no color too. <laughs> so this is the final look here. We've got this like fun orange brick red shade. We've got like a really, really minimal eye makeup look, but we've got this like gorgeous blush on to complement the lips. Just like, here it is. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know by giving me a, what do we want? We want one of these. We want one of these. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button. I love it so very much. When you guys do, you know, it helps my channel. It helps my videos and it means a lot to me. And don't forget to comment down below anything you want because I freaking love your guys' comments. You have no idea. They fill my day with happiness and I try to respond to all of them. And I just love them so much. So don't forget to comment down below and subscribe if you're new here, but I'm just rambling and I'm gonna let you guys go. Have a great morning, noon, evening, day, night, whatever happens to be that you're watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.